Hey, welcome everyone. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy in these crazy unprecedented times that we're dealing with. We here at GoTech are doing our part. You can tell I'm not in the GoTech garage today. I'm actually in my shop at home bringing you guys a video. We're gonna talk about blower motors and resistors today. So why don't we get right into it? So your blower motor isn't working right. Maybe your speeds one through whatever high speed isn't working, maybe only high speed is working. Well, this is a pretty common complaint that we see when talking about blower motor resistors. The resistor itself's job is to step down the current that goes to the blower motor. So we're gonna supply less electricity to the motor, the motor will spin slower, therefore giving us lower output from our vents, our low speeds. But when the resistor fails, none of those speeds are gonna work because they all have to travel through the resistor. Now by default in an HVAC system, in our heating and air conditioning system on our car, we have to have one speed available to defrost the windshield. It's a safety problem. So typically we end up with just high speed functional because it just kind of bypasses the resistor. It doesn't really use the resistor to run high speed. So that's the case in this vehicle here. So we go ahead and we pull out the blower motor resistor and right away you can see that it looks relatively new this resistor doesn't look bad from the outside and typically they're not going to. What actually ends up happening is there's a small thermal fuse that's inside here that opens or blows during an overcurrent situation or an overheating situation. This is from too much electricity being drawn by the blower motor system, by the HVAC system. The Resistor goes to protect itself so we don't end up with any problems under the dash. Again, we're inside of the vehicle. We don't want anything melting down. So the resistor's failed. You throw a new one in and the vehicle comes back in a week or a month or three months, whatever it might be. The customer of this vehicle told me that the resistor lasted a month for him. Now this is pretty common when dealing with blower motor resistors. We get repeat failures. But the resistor is the effect of something else causing it. And there's two major conditions that can affect that. First of all, the blower motor itself. It could actually be drawing too much current through the system. And what can actually happen is this motor can start to seize up, and when that happens, it requires more electricity to spin it and causes our resistor to fail. So if you're dealing with a repeat failure or it's your first time putting a resistor in, pull out that blower motor and give it a spin. Make sure it doesn't feel tight. Make sure it doesn't feel like it's seized up or kinda notchy feeling at all in there, like maybe a bearing is seizing up. This one spins pretty freely. You can see I can spin it around. There's no noise to it. It sounds nice and quiet. I think this blower motor is good. If you have the ability to, you could check the current draw on this motor. So what you would do, you would run it on high and you would see how much current this motor is pulling to run it on high speed. You want that current to be equal to half of the rated fuse. So if the fuse for that circuit is 20 amps, you want the motor to pull 10 amps or less. If it's higher than that, it's time for a new blower motor. The blower motor is drawing too much electricity to make it run. Now the blower motor itself is only one of the major complaints. One commonly overlooked thing is the flow of air through the entire HVAC system. Cabin air filters job are to filter the air that comes into the vehicle from the outside. We're trying to keep the impurities out of the air but they can also act as a major restriction in our system, in our HVAC system. So here we're going behind the glove box, pulling out that cabin filter, and you can see just how many leaves and everything are in there. And as we actually go and turn this thing upside down, you can see all the junk that's falling out of there. This is a restriction in the HVAC system. This is restricting air flowing through it. When we restrict the amount of air flowing through it, the blower motor itself ends up having to work harder when we make the blower motor work harder, we draw more current through our resistor and we cause our resistor to fail. So this vehicle is gonna end up getting a pair of cabin filters, a new blower motor resistor. We'll throw it in there and get this thing back on the road. All right, with the new resistor in there, you can see we have speeds one, two, three, four, and high speed, speed five. Everything seems to be working properly. We fixed the effect, the bad blower motor resistor, and we also fixed the cause, the restriction in the HVAC case and the airflow getting to the blower motor in those cabin filters. So we're good to go. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get more videos from us and to get notified for those. So I really appreciate you guys watching today. Stay safe, stay healthy everybody, and we'll see you again next time. Happy wrenching everyone, thank you.